Hi everyone, Carter here with a new Prototech tip. And for today, we're going to cover rivets for your sheet metal designs. You've got projects with pressing timelines and your ability to hit those deadlines all depend on having your parts in time to do your test fits. That's where we come in. Protocase is your one-stop shop for custom manufacturing that's fast, flexible, and easy. We've covered a lot of different topics when it comes to fastening sheet metal parts. Check out the link below for a playlist on fasteners as well as our Prototech tips about welding. But for today's Prototech tip, we're going to cover rivets. Rivets permanently fasten two metal parts together through a concentric hole. We have other fastening methods here at Protocase, welding and self-clinching fasteners. Similar to welding, rivets are a permanent fastening method, meaning that two parts cannot be disassembled once they are riveted together. Rivets are a much more economical fastening choice than welding because it's faster and simpler. But in terms of being able to withstand high amounts of force, rivets are strong, but welding is far more durable. Self-clinching fasteners are permanently pressed into a sheet metal part in order to create a solid fastening point that can be assembled and disassembled whenever you want. In addition to being an alternative to welding two parts together, rivets can also be used to attach smaller components to a larger assembly. You can also use rivets to join two faces of a single part together in order to increase rigidity. Here at Protocase, we stock blind rivets, which are sometimes called pop rivets. Blind rivets have no access to the rear or blind side of the joint. For the installation process, a rivet is seated inside a hole that has been cut into the metal using our laser cutters. Then, a blind rivet tool pulls the mandrel against the hat of the rivet. The mandrel bulges and makes the edges of the rivet expand down towards the material. The end result is a rivet that is permanently installed in the hole. We stock both domed and countersunk rivet options. Domed rivets have a slightly rounded top that will have raised profile from the metal surface. Countersunk rivets are similar to other countersunk flathead fasteners that we offer in that the rivet will have a flush surface with the metal. The hole that the rivet is being installed into will need to be countersunk before the rivet can be installed. Let's talk design tips and constraints. The main thing to keep in mind is that for any rivet to be properly installed, the material in which the rivet is being installed must meet material thickness requirements. We've got this noted on our website. You can choose rivets for any of our types of sheet metal that we stock. The one gotcha is cold rolled steel if it's not being powder coated. This material will rust without powder coat, including the area under the rivet head. Powder coat is typically applied prior to the rivet process. You can opt for secondary finishes such as anodizing or chemical film conversion coating on a design that includes rivets, so long as the rivet's material is compatible with the finishing process you choose. Our website notes the material type of each rivet we stock. And if you need another rivet for your design, just contact us. We can order it for you at a non-stock request. All of the information we covered today is on our website, along with every other type of material, fastener, hardware, and finish that we offer. There's lots to dig into. And we're always here to help. If you have a question or want to discuss your organization's design requirements, contact us. Thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech Tip, and we'll see you next time.